what do dads do? Dad did this a lot. He always included me in what he was doing. He always had so much patience to let me try things, break or mess them up. Then he'd show me how to fix it and make it work right. I constantly got in trouble for breaking things because I would take them apart to see how it worked and I couldn't figure out how to put it back together and it still functioned properly. I remember the spankings I would earn from getting into the tool shed and playing with things I wasn't supposed to. I would take his old wood-handled screwdrivers and take apart whatever it was I was curious of how it worked. I disassembled an electric space heater, the lawnmower, the microwave, the toaster, my toys, my siblings' toys, my bike, their bikes, radios, TVs, and that's just what I can remember. But Dad was a thinker sometimes. At the place he worked, they would update their computer systems every couple years. Well, one year when I was extremely destructive, they just happened to be getting rid of a bunch of old towers and monitors, along with the keyboards and mouse controllers of all kinds. They all had the components intact, except for the hard drive. Those were taken out for security purposes. Again, this place did a lot of government contracting. They were the company that designed and built the worm gear and all its components that are still in use today in the wings of the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. It took me at least 30 minutes to unload the back of the station wagon, in pure joy and excitement, knowing I was going to get to dissect these machines I'd never seen before, to figure out how they worked. The car he owned at the time was an old white station wagon. I don't remember the maker model exactly, but I remember getting slammed onto the hood of that car when I was around 6 or 7, and received a proper beating after I tore the hood ornament off the car one day. It was then used as a tool to deliver the spanking I received for breaking it. The back seats were rear-facing and folded into the floor so you had cargo room. The middle seats folded flat as well to increase the cargo bay capacity. It was a big car to me, and this thing was packed with computer components. I was given 100% permission to do what my heart desired, as long as I didn't make a mess or I cleaned up what mess I made. Again, apologies if it seems like I'm bouncing back and forth a lot in these stories. It's just how the little details come to me while I'm remembering things, so it's how I write things down. Welcome to the inside workings of my consciousness. About this time, Dad, uh, Dad got into the hobby of flying styrofoam gliders. He was terrible at it, constantly smashing them into the ground, sometimes right on takeoff while trying to use a large rubber band type catapult that was nailed to the wood fence in front of the house. I remember laughing on multiple occasions when the glider would become airborne, catch a gust of the mountain wind just wrong, and nosedive straight into the ground, shattering the styrofoam and craft into bits. The sound of the snapping foam and the crumple of plastic parts were hilarious to me. This is going to make me sound more and more psychotic than I could ever be, but I really like the sound of crunching metal and breaking glass. It's terrifying, but exhilarating at the same time. It's probably due to some PTSD from a minor car accident I remember as a kid. 